Today on Lucky Dog. Chance, come. It's a tale of second chances. When a red collar student gets a white collar opportunity. So your boss is totally okay with you having a puppy in the office. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But if Chance wants the job. Chance. He'll need to boost his work ethic. I know, you're not housebroken. And get down to business. Come on, Chance, get busy. Go on. I'm Brandon McMillan, and I've dedicated my life to saving the lonely, unwanted dogs that are living without hope. My mission is to make sure these amazing animals find a purpose, a family, and a place to call home. Today, one dog will be saved, and one family will have a new best friend. This is Lucky Dog. Give me a down. Good. Luna, a five-month-old Malinois, is getting down to business. Good, that's a down. Good girl, that's a down. Unlike most puppies her age, she's a savvy workhorse, already mastering advanced techniques like the distance down. That's a down, good. Good, that's a down. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But right now, another puppy needs Brandon's attention. Hello. The West Valley Shelter just contacted me. They said they have a five-month-old puppy that was just turned in as a stray. They said he's in really bad shape. He was covered in fleas and ticks. And of course, now he's without a home. So I'm going to go down there and see what I can do for him. Waiting at the shelter is a pointer aptly named Chance. What are you doing in here? Huh? A puppy in a shelter? Yeah, you're too young to be in here. A product of the streets, Chance already shows maturity well beyond his years. His mellow temperament could make him an ideal pet. Come on, let's get out of here. Particularly for one certain dog lover looking for her own second chance. Great. My name's Christina. I'm director of operations for a PR agency, and I'm looking to adopt a dog for companionship. I have some great friends, but you know, my family's in Ohio. Having a dog is just gonna fill that void in my life. But so far, the road to adoption has been paved in heartache. I adopted a puppy. I named him Nashville, because I'm a big country fan. And unfortunately, when I adopted him, he had a virus called distemper, which he already contracted before he came to me. I was heartbroken. I got that feeling how great it was to adopt a dog. And I knew I wanted to do it again. <laughs> to spare Christina further heartbreak and ensure Chance is 100% healthy, Brandon schedules a physical checkup. Come on. Come on. Hey, good morning, hey, Brandon. Dave. How are you? This is Chance. He has an appointment with Dr. Nardi. Hi, Chance. Good morning. Hey, Doc, how are you? Good, nice to see you again. Who do we have here? We got Chance, a little puppy. Oh my goodness, he's adorable. Yeah. The shelter said they pulled multiple ticks off him. Oh. And I want to confirm with you they got the head out. I know that can be a little difficult sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know where the ticks were? Well, they said they had one up here. Okay. And they said they had two in the same area, kind of right back here. Ticks can be serious because they can carry different diseases. Yeah. You know, you're probably familiar with Lyme disease. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the big concerns with ticks. So we do have a flea and tick product that works really well. So I can go over that with you as well when we're done. But let me just take a look at everything else. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good job. Good, his eyes are clear, vessels look good. Take a quick listen to him. Heart and lungs sound excellent. Good. So he looks really good. I do have a flea and tick product here. This is going to prevent against fleas, ticks, as well as mosquitoes. Okay. So it's a very comprehensive product. You squeeze this cap down here, okay? Obviously the product comes from here. Part the hair, and you can actually put the product all the way down his back. Make sure you put it in where he can't get to it, so ideally right down the center here. Before applying it, though, I'd like you to call the shelter and just kind of verify when the next flea tick treatment is due. Okay. 
And then what we'll also do today, since he's on the wellness plan, I'm going to go ahead and run the heartworm test, which also includes a test for Lyme disease and Ehrlichia, which is another tick-borne disease that he could potentially get. And I'll review his vaccine record and see what he needs. Thanks, Dr. Nardi. No problem. After a review of his blood work, Chance is deemed healthy and officially becomes a lucky dog in training. See this? I got something for you. I want you to try it on. Here. How does that feel? Your big droopy ears. All right, come on. Welcome to Lucky Dog Ranch. Chance is a five-month-old puppy, and at his age, there's two things he needs right now. One is manners, and two is the seven common commands, which are sit, stay, down, come, off, heel, and no. Because of Chance's youth and inexperience, Brandon opts to skip the assessment entirely. Come here. I guarantee he pretty much knows absolutely nothing. There we go. So I'm going to go right into the training. And that starts with a focus exercise. I pull a treat out, and I said, let me see how long you can focus on me for. And he looks at me for about three seconds, and suddenly he sees a squirrel. I know. You're a puppy. You're distracted by everything. Chance's wandering eye could pose a serious challenge. So Brandon starts with the most basic command. Just follow it. That's a sit. Good. That's a sit. And within a few minutes, he actually picked it up. And I say, OK, we're off to a great start. And then I went for the down command. Can you go down? And this is where the pointer stubbornness comes out. There you go. Over and over, I showed him different ways to do the down. I tried my favorite technique, the double leash lock off, and he just didn't get it. And then I tried another way. He didn't like it. This is what it comes down to with this breed. They're a very sensitive dog. You have to take your time with them. I can't be hard on him. Otherwise, I'll lose him. He will shut down. Let me back you up. Brandon tries a third approach. Are you ready? I hold here, I push here, I pull here. Good, that's a down. Look at that. This technique he does the job, but what I don't like about it is I'm actually doing the work for him. Good, good, that's a down. The question is, does he have the technique down? Good. Tomorrow's a new day. We'll see. Hi, Brandon. Hey, how are you? Coming up, is this red collar puppy ready for a white collar world? My only concern is you're busy in an office all day. Mine as well. Like the pressure's on me. Day. Chance, the five-month-old German short-haired pointer, is That's gradually learning the value of a hard day's work. Good. He might not be learning at the pace I'd like, but that's just fine. Not all dogs learn at the speed of light. They learn at the speed of life. Don't worry about the birds. Just Keeping stay. Chance's that's head in the good. game is the biggest challenge. It's no surprise that Chance was getting distracted. It's in the breed. They're a hunting dog. They were bred to be by the hunter's side in the woods, in open areas, looking for lots of critters. But Chance won't be working in the woods. He'll be working out of Christina's office. Evidently, her boss is allowing her to bring a dog to work, so I want to go to the office and check out the space and make sure it's adequate enough for a dog. Hi, Brandon. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Been waiting for you. Come on in and see my office. Our office is really different. It's not your typical atmosphere. We're all open air spaces. Everybody's like a little family here. Does everyone here dog lovers? Yeah, everybody's been waiting, waiting. My only concern is you're busy in an office all day. Puppies, they need a lot of attention. They need to be constantly entertained. And if you can't offer that in an office environment, it might be the wrong dog for you. Our office is filled with people who are, you know, really want a dog here, I want a dog here. There's 12, 13 other people that'll definitely give him attention. So your boss is totally OK with you having a puppy in the office? Yes. At first, he was skeptical as any boss because, you know, we are a business. He doesn't want any distractions. The office space seems like it's a great place. It's a great atmosphere. It's a, a very friendly and uh, casual environment. We have a garden. We have a backyard. So I think that would be a perfect space for him. Can I see it? So this is our back patio area. As you can see, we have a nice little red barn. I sit right over here, so my view would be over here from my window. This whole area is 100% sealed, right? For the most part, I think. You got a spot right here he can get out. 
So what do you say we put a little white picket fence right here? Yeah, that'd be great. As for the rest of it, it's a lot of space. The only thing I'm not in love with is the concrete. It serves its purpose, but the grass would be much better. The patio could use a little more green, but it's Chance who could use a little less. Chance is totally green. He has no experience whatsoever. If I'm gonna get him ready for a work environment, I'm gonna need to build his resume pronto. Coming up. Whoa, about time to get house trained. Chance gets business savvy. Go on, get busy. When Lucky Dog returns. If you are 18 or older looking to adopt a dog in the LA area and want to be on the show, write to us at cbsluckydog at gmail.com. Tell us why and you might be selected. Work to do. Two days ago, Chance, the five month old puppy, earned his red collar. Give me a heel. Good, good, good. But is he ready for a white collar life? Yesterday I met Christina. She loves dogs and she wants to bring Chance to work with her. If I'm going to get him ready for a work environment, I'm going to need to build his resume pronto. Chance has already acquired the sit, stay, and down commands. Can we go down? Today, he'll add another one to his skill set. No. The no command is especially important for an office setting. No. It helps establish boundaries. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Learning to mind his own business is important. So is learning to handle his own business. Chance and I were hanging out, and I went to the kitchen literally for 10 seconds to grab a bottle of water. I walked back in the living room. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chance? He had an accident on the floor. All right, my fault. You're not housebroken. If Chance wants to join the workforce, he'll need to learn to do his business properly. That starts with acclimating to his own workspace. In this case, an open top dog pen. Dogs don't like to have accidents where they eat or sleep. So by placing Chance inside the pen, I'm teaching him the theory of holding it. The first step is introducing Chance to the pen with some treats and toys to ensure that it's a positive experience. The pen is an area where the dog should be very comfortable. This way the dog learns more effectively. He wants to do it. Once Chance settles in, the training process can begin. After Chance spent a little while inside the pen, I hooked him up on a leash and I walked him down to the training yard. I'm waiting for him to go and I'm saying the words, get busy. Come on Chance, get busy. He needs to learn the theory of going to the bathroom outside. This is not playtime. Oh, there you go. Once he starts to go, I completely wait for him to finish. And then I praise, I treat him. Very good, get busy. Now he makes the connection of why he's being rewarded. You get free time for that. Chance earns one hour of playtime up at the house. Then it's back to the pen, completing the triangle and starting the process over. I call it the house training triangle. It goes from the pen to outside to free time in the house. And you consistently repeat this triangle through the day. When you first start training this process, the pen time outweighs the free time in the house. But as time goes on and the dog begins to learn, the pen time decreases and the free time in the house increases. Eventually, you eliminate the pen altogether. At that point, the dog is now house trained. Right now, at this point, Chance can only hold it for about an hour tops. But with the pen training, it will increase that time to about three or four hours. It's that time. Let's go get busy. Coming up. What are you doing the whole time? Chance sets his sights on a green collar promotion. You want that? Come here. Go on, get busy. Over the last week, Chance has been honing his business skills. There you go, good, 
and expanding his resume. Oh, that's an off. Brandon's been busy too. While Christina was away on vacation, I had my friends from our sponsor Sinlong come by and lay synthetic grass down, which made a huge improvement on the back area. I think she's going to be pleasantly surprised. But if Chance wants to use his new workspace, he needs to pass his employee review. That means proving to Brandon that he is truly housebroken. To perform this test, I get rid of the pen completely. Then I scatter toys and chews all over the house. This will give him something to do while he's left alone. And last, but certainly not least, I set up puppy cams all over the house. This makes him think that he's all alone, but in reality, I'm watching every step he takes. Brandon sets up his stakeout and starts the clock. At first, he starts pacing around the house, like any puppy would do. And then he moves up to the couch. He grabs a chew and starts chewing it. I expected him to only be up there for a few minutes before he got bored. 30 minutes later, he's still up there. One hour later, he's still up there. And then I see him stand up. And I'm like, oh, gotcha. I know he's going to get into trouble now. He simply jumped off the couch and lied down at 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Hour and 20 minutes later, he's still there. After hours of being left alone, he had no accidents in the house. But on top of not having any accidents, he didn't even get into any trouble. I was 100% satisfied with what I saw. Hey, you. What are you doing the whole time? Yeah, don't worry. I saw everything. <laughs> you know what? I need to see no more. That's why you get one of these. Here, try this on. Yeah, what do you think? Having earned his promotion, Chance is finally ready for his forever home. I think it looks pretty good. Come on, you got a mom waiting for you. <gasps> Coming up. Yes! Surprise. You did surprise me. <laughs> In anticipation of joining the workforce, Chance the Pointer Puppy has been building his resume. Over the last week, he's added the common commands to his skill set. And a heel. Good, good, there you go. Perfect, perfect, good. And proven to Brandon that he can get down to business. Good boy, that's a get busy. Good, good. This means he's ready for his first day at work. Busy. Good boy. Today I woke up extra early because I wanted to get to Christina's office before she did because I wanted to surprise her with Chance waiting there. Boo. Somebody wants to meet you. <gasps> oh my, what do you do? <laughs> he's been waiting here for a while. Chance. Surprise. You did surprise me. <laughs> As soon as I saw him with Brandon, he came up to me and he gave me a kiss and I was like, he, he got me. You're beautiful. You just you're so beautiful. Hi. What do you think of him? Um, I love him. He's a great dog. He uh, really is. Oh, you're perfect. You're perfect. You know how much I love you? <laughs> He's my little soulmate. He is my dog soulmate. He's so calm. Yeah, he actually is really calm for a puppy. I think your boss will be pleasantly surprised how good this dog is. Yeah, I think everybody's gonna love you. Everybody's gonna love you. You found a new home here. Well, I do have one more surprise. Okay, I don't think you can get any better than this, but. <laughs> Follow me. Say hi to your new lawn, Chance. Oh, oh hi. I can't <laughs> believe this. It's totally different. There's grass. Watch this. Say the words, get busy. Hey, Chance, get busy. And just wait him out. There you go. Good boy. <gasps> what a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Oh, yeah, that feels good, huh? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Good boy, Chance. <laughs> to know that he has been trained to, you know, go outside and go in that grass area is just going to 
make it so much better. That just really is the icing on the cake. You have your own little yard, huh? So he's fully potty trained now. And this grass, it's very tough. You can hose it off, he can't dig at it, he can't chew at it, so he's gonna like it here. Yeah, this is amazing. So you remember the gap you have back here? Yes. Well, I sealed the gap and I also added this fence right here as a oh, double amazing. protection. It's just perfect for him. He's in heaven. There's a few other people that want to meet him too. Hi guys, this is Chance. <laughs> Come on, Chance. Hi. Oh, Hi. Oh, Hi. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> you are so cute. Isn't he adorable? Oh. It was more special because Brandon really got my coworkers involved. I think everybody knows how important Chance is to her. It's just going to be a great experience from here on out. Chance thinks so too. He's got everything he needs out there. It's shade, there's sunlight, there's turf. It's good to see. I see he's in good hands. I'm out of here, Chance. Enjoy your new life, buddy. Take care of him. We will. Thank you, Brandon. Having Brandon involved in this is just, I can't thank him enough. He just found my perfect match. I just, uh, I'm so grateful. He's changed my life forever. <laughs> But it's not just Christina whose life has changed. A five-month-old puppy also got a new lease on life. A second chance. From hopeless to a home. By chance. That's my mission. One dog at a time.